I'm Matt Snyder with Shreveport Magazine. One of my favorite pieces here at the Norton is the Lloyd Hawthorne painting of Captain Henry Miller Shreve clearing the Great Raft in the Red River. This picture is so important for so many different reasons, but I love it because it says so much about Shreveport. You have Henry Miller Shreve standing on this great raft that was was holding back this whole area of the country. But if you know much about Henry Miller Shreve, it was probably just as much about everyone in the country and the world saying it couldn't be cleared as it was anything else. And I think that so speaks to Shreveport all around as just a place where Shreveporters are so proud and people from other places sometimes don't even understand that proudness but Shreveporters just have it and know it and I think that was from the very beginning it was a place that should have never been settled it was a it was a washed back swamp you know in the mud I mean you had Natchitoches that you could get to Texas was developing and they called in and Henry Miller Shreve came in with what all seems to be roughly pirates to try to clear this log jam. Men that that would come out and, I mean, mosquitoes and stench and sickness and logs breaking loose and, and tons of danger. So you just you just figure that these were a rough bunch of men and, and you have to think what a man Henry Miller Shreve had to be to control this type of environment. But going to Lloyd Hawthorne's picture, it's so interesting because... For such a powerful man, there's very little description of Henry Miller Shreve at all. Most accounts that that I've read just say a stout man with a lineish head. So I think as a painter, he probably didn't have a lot to go on in this painting. The really interesting fact is Lloyd Hawthorne painted Henry Miller Shreve's face as his own. So when you're looking at this famous picture, Henry Miller Shreve's face is truly the artist's face instead of Henry Miller Shreve. It's so interesting because you have to think what a challenging job this was for an artist in the 1960s. We want you to paint someone who's been dead for a hundred years that no one has any photographs of and depict what it was like to clear the Red River Raft. But I love looking at this picture because it just shows the struggle to build Shreveport, to make this possible, to make all the things that we know of as Shreveport today happen. 